Three, one. two, one. <laughs> yeah, that was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that works. That's 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 take one. Welcome to Utter Nonsense, starring. That's where you come in. Oh, I thought you were gonna introduce yourself first. I'm Matt. Oh, oh my name my name is Max. That's I'm Matt. that's Matt, and we have a special guest today. Who is it, the, Matt? The traveler, the man, the lawyer, Eric Eric Menyuk over here. He's also your father. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't. We don't. Yeah, that, that's, that's not a big deal. That's, 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 that's not on the resume. No. Yeah, really, not on the resume. <laughs> kind of. We, we we try to hide that from the family history that you know that I'm his father because you know he's cool. I'm. I've uh, seen the adoption papers on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Eric, thank deep, you for joining us today. Sure. Uh, Max, why don't you lead us in? Why we got your dad joining us? So we're doing Star Trek trivia. Today okay. I'm gonna lower this right here so we get my dad's bald head and my hair head. Bald, balding. Uh, but when, <laughs> when it when it comes to uh, <laughs> when it comes to Star Trek trivia, my dad was in Star Trek: The Next Generation and actor in a lot of different uh, shows. And uh, the question is, where has the traveler been? So that's my first question to my dad. Where where did you go? Where did where did the traveler go? Well, you know, I hate to say this because you know you're you're my son sitting right here, <laughs> but the, the traveler traveled quite a bit. He yeah. got around in the universe, you know, <laughs> hit some of the hot spots, uh, had a little fun. Okay. There might be a few little travelers, travelettes, running uh, around the universe that we don't even know about. Max, so, you got some siblings. Uh, uh, what? Max got some siblings. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Half quarter, I don't know. I mean, they're aliens, so I don't know what you call them. Is that right. is that canon? Is that like is that actually like true? Like the traveler just travels. Are you saying is traveling? that canon? Like in the Star Trek universe, that you know, people have written stories and novels about the traveler and his exploits with the alien women and the green dancing women? No, it's not. I just made it up. <laughs> well, <laughs> the why green don't dancing women? I have I have siblings in outer space. I, I love that. <laughs> of course, the best. Space is max space, so of course, <laughs> that's all. That's of course, space right in here. Right <laughs> yeah. Here. <laughs> well, Eric, will you get? Because I, for one, I don't know about the listeners. I'm assuming a lot of the listeners, but I am not a Star Trek follower. I know shame like, on you. I know Spock. That's about as good as I'm going to get, and I'm going right? to insult some people on that. But Different will you generation. give some context to everybody who doesn't know what is the Traveler? Uh, well, you know, in Star Trek: The Next Generation. Um, uh, they had a bunch of guest starring aliens mm -hmm. and I was an alien who came down and one of the regular characters was this boy, Wesley Crusher, who uh, is kind of a genius. He's played by Will Wheaton, who was actually a lot of fun to work with on set. Okay. But uh, he basically, the traveler comes in to basically say that this character, uh, Will, that Will was playing Wesley Crusher is, you know, incredibly special, has, he's, a, he's got gifts that are beyond, you know, just a, a regular humanity and you know, over the course of yeah, he's a, he's like a like, like my me. son, like yeah. my son, okay. uh, incredibly yeah. gifted in, yeah. in, in ways that go beyond our comprehension. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> well, good okay, because that's how it was meant. Yeah, I love this. Game. So, um, uh, so uh, you know, he over the course of seven seasons. You know, at the beginning, you know, he just comes in and says, you know, this is a special kid. You got to take care of him. In the fourth season, he comes in when Wesley is like warping space and he fixes it all. Mm -hmm. Deus Ex Alien just comes in, fixes, fixes, fixes. And at the end, he comes in mostly as a Native American uh, alien uh, wow. to whisk uh, uh, Wesley off to study the ways of the Traveler. Interesting. And now the Traveler and Wesley are kicking it in the universe. <laughs> So you're like traveling with green women. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's we're doing. <laughs> so you really were the partier of Star Trek. Oh yeah, major yeah. partier, major partier. <laughs> Not even a little bit. So, <laughs> so, so one of one of the ones that um, my dad was in one of the episodes was where no one has gone before. Right, which is actually like the big Star Trek go where no one has gone before. It was the big. It was a big thing, and your hand was taped together. Yeah. No, Did you have I, to do this like the whole time? Yes, no, I, that's right. And actually, they they sewed my fingers together. No, oh. they, <laughs> that explains. I a had lot. a rubber glove. I had a rubber glove that they put in there, and it was interesting because before the first episode was done, before any of the episodes aired, mm -hmm. and so uh, they're trying me on for this glove, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, he's got to be at the, at the computer. I said, how is he going to type? 
Right. He's got big fat fingers. And what I didn't realize, and Matt, you wouldn't know this because you don't watch the show, okay. is there are no keyboards. It's all touch screen. And it's oh. <laughs> See, so. wouldn't have guessed that at all. I would have been like just <laughs> smacking the counter. So basically, so basically you just had big uh, iPads. Big as, fat as fingers. Yeah. Big iPads as computers. Why did they do? You were saying there was swiping. It was probably just uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, created the Star Trek Enterprise. Yeah, Enterprise. exactly. And 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 in fact, you know, a lot of times I'd have to swipe left. I go, mm, no, mm, right, no. Yeah, green lady, yes. Yeah. <laughs> how how uh, come they made you wear gloves? Was it just to guarantee that your hand stayed like that? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Well, okay. because they, to make the they didn't want human hands. Oh, uh, and you t- see, okay. I was a very svelte uh, uh, alien back then, right? Unlike now, okay. and so I wanted really long, thin fingers. You know, kind of fairy like right. fingers. Okay. And uh, they said no. I was going to get the big clubs. Uh, well, that's the disappointing. Big fist. They didn't let uh, you run with the character. That's disappointing. Yeah, uh, very disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, uh, if, if the Star Trek people that aren't listening, you were also uh, next in line uh, during s- interviews to interview for who? Data? Data. Was it Data? Data, yeah, yeah, yeah. Came down to Brent Spiner and me at the end. Brent Spiner got it. Great actor. I think he's terrific. He did a great job. But honestly, if I'd gotten it, <laughs> we wouldn't be doing this. You wouldn't be here. <laughs> I, I mean, I would, I would still be here. I would so. be. Yeah. I would have a bevy of green women. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the thing I mean, the thing about Data, I mean, you mentioned Spock. Spock wasn't even introduced in... Oh, wait, wait, don't, don't, don't do this. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't. Do it. Do it. Don't. Piss them off. Piss them off. <laughs> you know, do it. Piss me off. It's just going to be, you know, your whole audience is think, what an idiot. No, I mean, seriously. Oh, Spock that's, that's, was like back in 1960. I knew that. I was just testing the audience. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so Data came after Spock. Way after Spock. Pre, pro Spock. Okay, yeah. Pre. Pro. 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 Post. Post. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Post Spock. <laughs> uh, I don't even need to be here for this episode. I should just no, have YouTube background. Right? Thank God he's so good looking, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, good looking. You know, no, no green women chasing after me. And so. does uh, your audience know that uh, you're getting married? Uh, Ooh, they, they do. That's on the next. That's, that's, literally, the, that's next. the topic of the next episode. <laughs> that was the topic of the next episode. Just got Somebody engaged. just got a little spoiler. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're, yeah that, that is so true. But back, yeah. to, back to Star Trek. Why we? But I'm going to tell you something because you know, <laughs> the traveler was not only traveling around the, the universe looking mm-hmm. for green women, he was like the ultimate alien wedding crasher. Ooh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. it was the traveler and Wesley. They were just jumping in, jumping. It was like I was the Will Ferrell, and <laughs> he was like the Owen Wilson. <laughs> Wait, I don't think what? it was Will Ferrell. I think it was uh, who was that? Who was that one guy? Wasn't Will Ferrell? Was no, no. It? Will Ferrell was the old guy who yeah. ended up going to funerals. Right. Who was, who was in Wedding Crashers? You're talking about you're Max. You're Vince thinking of Vince Vaughn. Vaughn. Yeah, that's Vince right. Vaughn. That's who right. I was talking about. Yeah, oh, yeah, I had to do a monologue with Vince Vaughn. By the way, speaking of which, if they need a handsome traveler to come on to the next new series of Star Trek, you know, yeah, I'm available. I'm available. <laughs> I'm not. <worried>. <laughs> but you know, Max, I was really surprised that you chose your best man for your wedding. I was shocked at that. Who that was. Mm. Can can we can hey, we look, can we, Eric? I'm a, you 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 should know by now. I am objecting the wedding if I am not picked. I am very prepared. Okay, I am. Look. So, I got a speech. I got a sign. I'm ready. We I got a crowd. Moving, we are moving on to uh to to the to the questions at hand. Uh, you know Matt? what's the, you know what I'm excited about too. Oh, I think shit. Eric's gonna be the one person encouraging me to be doing it. I'm gonna be like, I object. I'm gonna hear in the front row like, do it. <laughs> please, yeah please don't dad please don't man. look at the end of the day the best man is 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 in for competitions and mm-hmm. in for trials and tribulations and of course figuring out whoever gives me the best presents and gifts but with that being said so why don't i why don't i the best man ah uh, he gave you is the best man hey, no. can't, is, can't the father of the yeah. room be the best man no, you would no, think no. so you would i would think, think so, so. Yeah, okay. and you know what? If he's the best man, no. why is she marrying you, hey guys? We're talking about Star Trek. We're not talking. About, <laughs> we're not talking about you know uh, no, the next episode. But with that being said, um, so Wesley Crusher, Will Whedon, where does yes. that thing we ton? Where does that come from? Is that just Big Bang Theory? Or is yeah, that Big Bang Theory. Yeah, that was just Big, Big Bang, Bang jokes. That's uh, like Newman. Newman. Oh, where, that's where, a great no, comparison from Seinfeld. Yeah, really. Yeah. Newman. 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 That was oh, his no. neighbor, the mailman. Yeah. But people, yeah. hey, people think that I am 
I, I, I hear he's one of the handsomest guys on Seinfeld, Kramer. Everyone calls me Kramer, so. You I mean, are, they told you that he was the handsomest that's guy. That's what everyone says. Everyone you says are the love the child. Star. You're the love child of Kramer and Kelso from that '70s show. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is how I, I describe I, you now to uh, people. You know what's great? I haven't seen either of them, so I'll take it as a compliment. So that's uh, that's uh, that's sweet. Yeah. Well, okay. So what? Will Wheaton? Now now he's like an old dude. He's so older. He's like he's an old dude. Like you're an old dude. Yeah, is he my age? No, is he like in his thirties or forty, like yeah. late thirties kind of thing. So, how was he working with back then? Oh, he was a lot. Of, he was a kid. He was a kid, and we were all kids. So, it was, he was a lot of fun. So, <laughs> so when when you auditioned for Star Trek, were you auditioning for just any role that they had open? Were you no, in auditioning fact, for Data uh, specifically? Yeah, I came in to read for Data. Okay, and I had like seven callbacks. At the end, it was just a room full of you know eight hundred executives of Paramount. Right, and it was me. I got to work with the guy who did the pilot, and I forget what it was called, something at Fargate or F- F- Fart Fate. Fargo. <laughs> Far- Fargo. Fargo. I forget what it was called. Far away <laughs> point, point far away. Anyway, uh, worked with the director and then, you know, found out that I didn't get it. Right. And they kind of offered the traveler to me as a consolation prize. So it was okay. fine. It was That's all nice. good. Did, did they? You go, Max. I think I think it was the best episode. And, you know, Data wasn't <laughs> that big of a part in that episode anyway. So. Yeah. No, no. Friends, well, how, if you're how many us, episodes you're, you're were you in? On the show. Three. Totally three. three. Okay. Okay. And it's incredible because, you know, I've done three episodes. I've done, you know, 18,000 conventions. Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> ships. Yeah. You know, it was, you know, I talked to the people from the original Star Trek, you know, when I see them at conventions and, you know, they're always amazed because, you know, they did two seasons. Right. The original Star Trek only lasted two seasons. It was canceled. And this thing has just taken off because of the fans. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty incredible. Next generation. Basically, me. I'm the next generation. It's the old generation, <laughs> next generation. That's why it's so good. The next generation is always better than the last generation. You're just... You're just You're rotting with a hot iron right now. <laughs> Look, wow. Matt, you have some questions. Look, we're going to play a game because I can speak probably better Trekkie than uh, the, the Trekkie to my right. And I, I mean, try, what is Trekker? Trekker? What's Trekker? We see Trekkie I, was the old way of saying a Star Trek fan was a Trekkie. Oh. Then it got kind of negative term because you ever thought there were a bunch of nerds who sit at home, you know, making podcasts with their friends. I wouldn't wow. know. I wouldn't know anything <laughs> about that. <laughs> who's, 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 who's show is, whose show is this? I'm this not point? ours anymore. <laughs> and so the <laughs> Trekkies uh, became Trekkers. 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 Yeah. Okay. So us... I mean, I, I would. I, I don't know if I'm a trekker at that level of excellence yet. No, I don't think so. We yeah, are just both, a guy. Well, we are yeah. both going to become pro trekkers because Matt has some. Well, I got language. I, yeah, so I don't even. I'm going to be honest. I can't fact check if this is right or not because I have no way to back proof this. Well, I will I, definitely let you know whether I think it's right or wrong, and it'll have absolutely no basis in reality. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I just pulled up some out. I just pulled up some of the Star Trek languages and made some quotes up for it. Okay. And I'll give you multiple choice because if you could guess this on your own, God, you're a fucking genius. Um all right. <laughs> you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're ready. So, wait, wait. All right. Who are you asking first? I'm going to ask both of you, and you guys give me your multi- – I mean, it's multiple choice, so you just sh- All right, well, give me we'll your We'll count answers. down. We'll go one, two, three, and we'll give our answers at the same time. Wait, is this like a competition? It is a competition. All Max right. has actually never won on this show. We've done two competitions. He's lost both times. So okay. All right. just well, keep it, you know, keep it 0 and 3. Keep it 0 and 3. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so this first one is Klingon, and it is Nooknet. Nooknet? Yeah. So Nooknet. Does it nook- have any <laughs> – huh? no. no, Nooknet. No. No, no. Okay. Right. Is it, Multiple choice. Is it A, hello? B, goodbye? C, welcome? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, what are you, I'm going B. I'm going Wasn't B. Wasn't it hello, goodbye? I thought it meant do you want a nookie. I just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to enjoy the rest of these. <laughs> I'm going to say welcome. Wow. Both of you are wrong. It's hello. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. We I was just trying to make you feel good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Wow. So, zero to zero. But, I, you know, in Hebrew, it's like shalom. It means hello, goodbye, and welcome. So, you know, it's like nukni. Could be anything. I, nukni. Yeah. <laughs> cool. uh, the, the Klingons were Jewish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Moses actually wrote Klingon. Like, yeah. it's very fascinating. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, all right. I mean, I wouldn't have got that one either, so. 
Well, would you have gotten um, any of these? No. No. <laughs> Wait till you hear the pronunciation of some of these. You're going to yeah, know okay. I couldn't get any of these. So the next one is Vulcan, which is a language from Star Trek, I presume. Yes. It's, it's, it's Spock. Spock's language. Spock is Vulcan. <laughs> oh, Spock doesn't speak Klingon? I thought he spoke Klingon. Oh, okay. No, no, yeah. no. He, uh, he I'm gonna speak, ha- he's a Vulcan, not a Klingon. Okay, if any Star Trek fans are listening, I do apologize. A okay, bunch will be listening. So this I is, know. This is, well, they stop now. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I love Obi Wan Kenobi. It's okay. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> you I know. Just I know. lost, that, lost that the whole was Star Trek. Trek that thing. one was unfair. <laughs> All right. It's like I love Marvel. I love Batman. <laughs> He's terrific in those Marvel movies. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh, so this is Ufnan Tordu. What is it again? Uf nan tordu. Oh wait, are you sure it's not off nan tordu? It could be. Because <laughs> that is a totally different meaning. I'm just telling you. You know what? Let's say a you're lot right. Of green women. You know. <laughs> it, does it mean a? Where are you? B? How are you? Or C? What are you? Oh shit. Yeah. Uf uf na uf na uf na tordu. Uf nan tordu. Uf nan tordu. Uf nan tordu. <laughs> um, I think it's. I think. Who are you? Where are you? How are you? No, how are I think you? Where? How are you versus where are you? Eric got the first point. It's how are you? Okay, he changes. He changes. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. The way I pronounced it was where are you, but then he said oof, so it made it how are you. So. Yeah, it's exactly uh, yeah, right. So, it's, it. <laughs> so one point, one point for for your Eric father. Yes. Great, great. And I'm still zero. Yeah, you're still zero. Okay, keep These that nice shiny hole. These next questions are worth double points, obviously. Of course. All right. Obviously. Please take a minute to listen to this beautiful pronunciation. Sorala uh, Sorhapchuk Vaj Sorlachuk Sorhapchuk. Sorlachuk. Does it mean Chuck's name is Chuck's name is Chuck's name is what? <laughs> or? Or Chuck is the best TV show. I love Chuck so much. Go Chuck. <laughs> or, or how much... How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'm going with I'm going with uh, how much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck? I'm going to go wood? with number A. Number A. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max gets the point. It's how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, wait. Yeah. Say that again. That was very but very well done. What was the, it? Sora la sor hop chuck vaj sor la chuck sor hop chuck. Yeah. can say that yeah. 10 times fast. That's probably uh, more of a time than rea- the other one. When I realized Chuck didn't have a translation, I was like, shit, I got to write Chuck in all these answers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, let's, let's hit it. All right, next is Romanian? Romanian something? Romanian? Yeah, it, was, it sat, looked like Romanian, but it's not Romanian. Romulan. Romulan, thank you. Yeah, you are you are, you you passed the test. You are right a true there. Star Trek fan, and that's ten points right there. So yeah, I, yeah, the game I eleven to one. Uh, did you did you know that Khan was Romulan? I, I thought Khan Spock was Klingon, so wasn't I obviously he, did it. Wasn't he? No, he wasn't Romulan. What was he? He was American. He was not American. Okay, Max is go. back down to zero. All right. <laughs> I mean, basically, the president is Khan. So. Okay, this one's going to take me a minute, so get ready. Uh Duhayan Duhayan Sarai Iduite Dance Swai Rilta. I want to dance at a rad party. <laughs> so, <laughs> dance, swipe right, Hilda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been such a better answer. Um, <laughs> all right, is it A, oh I want to dance with somebody? B, I'm the best dancer in the church group, or C, so you think you can dance? C. A. Ooh, Max got another one, A. All right. Oh, there we go. Tied up. 2-2, huh? Look at that. No, well, it's 11 to 2 because he he knew the actual (laughs) language. Okay, that's right. 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 So he got the secret bonus points. All right, and this last one's directed directly to you, Eric, so good luck. Okay. But Max obviously guessed. Eric, el cook o pukli sotarur nivblach. 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 Is it Eric? What do you think of the current geopolitical landscape? <laughs> Eric, which of your children do you like best? Oh wow! Eric, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. <laughs> or Eric, does this thing on me look infected? <laughs> so have fun. I thought it was, uh, Eric, does this thing on me? Do you want to nibble it? 
<laughs> that was the uh, bonus answer again. So congrats. Um, I'm going with A. Which one was A? The geopolitical landscape. No. I'm going with uh, who's your favorite child. Oh, he knows me well. It is who's your favorite child. <laughs> Oh, geez. All right. Okay. That was there a tie. That was a tie. It was not a tie. What are you talking about? He won. He oh, won. yeah, he won. He, he had won. the bonus points. That was the last point. That was the tiebreaker. And uh, right. Do you have a tiebreaker? No tiebreaker? No, I just wrote That dude, was a tiebreaker. Dude. Oh, okay, well, whatever. I, I honestly wasn't even... Right. At the end of the day, you were really working for my dad to win that. And uh, yeah. ultimately, at the end of the day, Matt, you win. Thank you. You're Thank the you. winner. I am the winner. <laughs> so he just knows, Max, so he, just, he knows my thought process better because he knows I would ask him which of his children he likes better. He no, just wait. knew where I was going with that. Wait, yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> so what you're saying is my dad won. Yeah. And now you're the winner. Mm-hmm. So you're the and, loser. And that's I'm just the, I don't I'm, know where we're <laughs> getting at. I'm just the loser. Okay, great. You um, are so not. You are such a winner. Uh, Look at this face. Okay. This, is my, this is my show. I'm the host. <laughs> um, but yeah. But I am your father. No, oh, and you just lost the Star Trek quote. Star Trek quote. Yeah, where's that from? That's from um, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so again, uh, if you if you are a Star Trek fan, where has the traveler been? Uh, he's been. Sh- Snook He's gone. been in, hiding in Agora Hills for the last. <laughs> He's been years. nibbling schnooknock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, throughout the galaxy. Yeah, uh, and thank you, thank you, Eric, for uh, yeah, for thank you so much for joining us on this episode. This and, was a lot of uh, fun. This is utter nonsense. And do you have anything to say? Plug anyone? Plug? That's the word of the day. Plug? Plug, plug what? I don't know. What, what are you doing now? Tell tell the audience what you're doing now. <laughs> I have nothing to plug. I got nothing no. to plug. If you want to, you can watch Thieves on Amazon Prime. It's my last, the last movie I ever did. Oh, nice. And uh, uh, yeah, it's free on Amazon. All right, there you go. uh, I'm terrific in it. I'm sure, yeah. (laughs) That's it. Well, I didn't see the rest of the movie, but I know I'm great in it. Yeah, right. exactly. I mean, you know, you just look like anything. You skip, skip, skip. Oh, my line, my line, yeah. my line. Skip, 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 skip. Exactly. So follow. By the way, I want to. I want to end this by saying follow us on because we've we've been on so many things right now. Apple Play, Spotify, uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. What else? We're on Apple Podcast and Spotify, uh, Google Podcast and Stitcher. All at the Other Nonsense Podcast. We're on YouTube at the Other Nonsense Podcast. Um, yep. If you follow. follow us on YouTube, we smack that follow button. What else? Hit that subscribe button. Give it to me. Hit that like button. Come on. And we'll see you again on the next show. (laughs) Thank you guys for listening. Have a good one.